Strap your seatbelts on because this is going to be a wild ride. We're rebuilding hinges on a 1971 C10. So what I'm doing today is trying to get all these panels to line up. The bottom of the door is the fender, the rocker panel here. So while I was doing that, trying to line everything, I ran into a couple issues. The main issue being these hinges are from 1971 and they're pretty worn down and there's a lot of slack in them. So this is how much play I have in this door. All right, let's do this thing. That's pretty sweet. I'm going to show you the best way to turn an old hinge into a new hinge. All right, all joking aside, let's go destroy some hinges. Now, no heat and a sludge basically does that to it. Nothing. All right, so this thing is actually coming out very slowly. So I've had this thing soaking in Kiwi Blaster for probably about 20 minutes or so. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grind on this pin right here, just cause it's starting to mushroom a little bit. And then we'll take a punch and we'll just try to knock that out again. It's moving. But man, is this a long process. That's so what happens when you start horsing around. I lost my bit. So on this next hinge, I'm gonna grind this down. I'm gonna heat this thing, try to take that air hammer to it and try to get this thing out in minimal time, not like the last one, which took too long. Let's see what happens. Fun stuff. So there's definitely some ridiculousness when it comes to building cars, but this is beyond ridiculous. Just look how bad that is. Now what? <laughs> Still can't even get this pin out. Wow, finally. Talk about a complete waste of time. So I powered through it. I got the hinge apart and it took so much force that the hinge actually cracked. That's how freaking in there that thing was. The hinge cracked. That's how stuck those pins were in there. That I actually ended up cracking a quarter inch steel plate just wow. So this hinge is beat up a little bit, but I can, I can clean it up. 
this side isn't bad. So I'll blast this hinge. As far as this one, I'm done. I'm just going to buy a new one. You know, the more I work on this truck, the more I think that this thing was submerged under salt water for four years before I got it. Because the amount of rust on this thing is legendary. So from a little bit of research that I did last night, I found out that these two, ATF and acetone mixed at a 50-50 ratio make the best penetrating oil out there, supposedly. Let's put it to the test. I got that hinge soaking. It's gonna sit there for about a week. We'll go back to it and see if we can pull that pin out any easier than, than before. Remember that? I do. That was fun. I end up jumping on eBay and just ordering a bottom hinge for the driver's side. As far as the top hinge goes, I'm going to throw it in the blasting cabinet. We'll clean it up and we'll paint it and we'll be good as new. But there is one pin that I have to remove beforehand, so that should be fun. As far as this piece goes, this thing's going in the blasting cabinet, but there's some kind of friction material on the other side. So I'm just basically covering it up and trying to not destroy that in the process. Finally got this thing put back together. These pens, as you can tell, are a little bit longer than they should be. So this one I'm going to keep in here just because later on I want to be able to remove this pin and paint everything. I'm not really sure exactly what color the truck's going to be. Most likely white or blue, but it changes every day. So as far as these other three pens, let's cut them down. There's definitely a lot less play. I mean, there's a tiny bit, but it is nothing like it was before. This is real nice. So 
either way, I got to put one of these shorter pins in because this ends up rubbing against the door shell. Oh well. At least these pins come out. There's enough space to leave that head exposed a little bit over there, so. So it's gonna be for now, till I paint it. So yeah, these hinges are done. I just gotta paint that one hinge and obviously paint them the color of the truck, whatever it's gonna be eventually. But yeah, as far as play, there is no play in these hinges anymore. So yeah, this side is done. It could be aligned a little bit better, but I'm not gonna worry about it now. As far as the other side goes, I'm not gonna touch those hinges until I have to when I start doing the body work on that side. But for now, I do have that hinge sitting in that ATF and acetone mixture. So why don't we go take a look at that and see if we can at least remove that pin with a couple hammer wax. If not, I'm not dealing with it right now. I've spent enough time. All right, wish me luck. All right, so I'm going back on my word a little bit. This pin is actually coming out with a couple hammer wax. So I'm going to grind this side down and I'm going to try to remove this pin because if I can remove it in a couple minutes, that's going to be amazing. What just happened? All right, this is the perfect time for Doc Brown to roll up on my driveway with the DeLorean. So I could go back in time and soak every single hinge in this solution because that worked. Seven days. Two minutes, not even. I spent hours before. Well, lesson learned. So the winner today or for this whole week, obviously, is 50% ATF and 50% acetone. Mix it up, let it sit, take a hammer to it and you're done. I was in a hurry, I wanted to get this video shot, I destroyed a hinge in the process. But for the next one, well, you know what? I'm gonna throw in that ATF right now. Might as well. All right, see you guys next time. So if you guys want more videos like this, Click the subscribe button right there, and there might be some kind of video to watch up here, or up here, or even down here.